and he that seeth me seeth him that sent me. So now, again, when we read when we read about Jesus Christ, he's letting you know right here in this verse yep, yep, that yep. I look just like my father. Just like my father. Just like, but, but there's a difference between the two. The two. Because, because what, what Christ is saying right there is he can't even, he can of his own self do nothing. Right. He came on earth to do his father's will. Right, right there, he's telling you that there's a difference between the two. Yes. It's not. Uh, Jesus Christ, Amen. it's not God coming Amen. down on earth Amen. as Jesus to be to be God. That's I'm not right according path. to the Bible. At John 12, 44. I'm Thank on you. the John right path. Hey everyone, before we continue through the content I provide you on this channel, I invite you to support a market for hard truths. Matthew chapter 9, verse 37 says, The harvest is truly plentiful, but the laborers are few. And in these last days, it costs time and money to sanction. The unadulterated truth if this ministry you feel is unveiled to you hard truths support us with your giving thank you for supporting truth let's get back to it okay guys i won't make this video too long uh, this is just a warning to iuic and i just wanted to quickly list the number of false doctrines that they teach i'm not going to go deep into the doctrine if you want uh, more detail on the false doctrines, go see the videos I made about Geno Jennings. Because some of these doctrines, he also believe. Okay, is that the teaching about Jesus Christ being God? They kind of defer on that, so I'll just explain that a little bit up front. But real quickly, the uh, false doctrines that they teach. Number one, as I said, IUIC, they believe that God, Christ, and the angels made man in their image. In the book of Genesis, chapter one, when he said, let or chapter two, one of those two, he said, let us make man in our image and likeness. They're saying that it was God, Christ and the angels. Uh, how can that be when the scriptures say that God made man a little lower than the angels? OK, man is not a little lower than God. <laughs> How can God, Christ, and the angels make man in their image? Anyway, very confusing. That very divisive, and that's hearsay. Okay. Also, they believe the white man is the devil and disregards the transgression of the fallen angels. I do not believe the white man is the devil. That's also a hearsay. Okay, the white man is not the devil. The white man is one who has been used by the devil more than any other human species in the history of mankind. But that's not being the devil. The devil is a fallen angel. Okay. He, he used to be a cherub angel. These used to be angels. Fallen angels are different from demons now. Okay. Demons are the offspring of women with the fallen angels, the fallen angels mating with the women. Okay. They're disembodied spirits. Okay. So it's just a matter of which devil are you talking about? Okay. The devil is, is on the other side of the veil. There's a veil between the spirit realm and this earthly realm. They disregard the transgression of the fallen angels though. That's very important because that's how the bloodlines became corrupted now you have the offspring of sin okay being born into man and his offspring okay so it changes the way that human beings look the way that they behave okay some have a higher concentration of the fallen angel blood in their dna and that's where we get the gentile races they don't believe that okay let's move on this is a big one here they do not believe that Jesus Christ is God. After this manner, therefore, ye pray. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that we be done on earth as it is in heaven. So Christ didn't say, pray to me. He's teaching the disciples how to pray. He said, when you pray, say, our Father, which art in heaven. Okay, you understand? So there's a difference. There's... God the Father, then you have God the Son. They believe that he's the Son of God. He was not born of the Virgin Mary. Okay, they believe that Joseph was his biological father. This makes absolutely no sense. 
How can Joseph be his biological father when the scriptures say the Holy Spirit came upon Mary? Okay. It also says that Mary was betrothed to Joseph prior to the birth of Christ. So if, if Mary laid with Joseph to have Christ, what you're saying is that Jesus Christ was born into fornication. And how can Christ redeem man of their sins if he himself had sin in his bloodline? You can't redeem someone of sin if you yourself are sin. Okay, anyway, uh, they don't even a virgin birth as well, okay, which is kind of tied to that. And they do not believe in hell. They talk a lot about the nuclear missiles and uh, that the white man is just going to be annihilated off the earth. Annihilationism is not eternity. Okay, do you, you're destroying someone in seconds like that through nuclear missiles. Okay, you mean to tell me that you talk about all these things that the white man has done and there is no eternal hell? I mean, where do you see that in the scriptures? Okay, this is the issue that I have with you guys. Okay, eternal life is the, the, the climax of our faith in Christ Jesus. Okay, rather you believe in, in him onto eternal life or you don't into eternal damnation. Okay, you got to choose which one you believe. To say there is no eternal hell is just like saying what the Catholics say. There is purgatory or some other type of annihilationism. And lastly, they dismiss the dynamics of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I talked about this in one of the Geno Jennings videos that I made the dynamics of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, they are all one. There is one God, okay? But because of the peril of sin, God had to have a contingency plan, which he already knew before the foundation of the world, to redeem man of their sin, okay? Therefore, the Son would, I shouldn't say the Son, God would have to manifest himself in the flesh to redeem man, to redeem man as a sacrifice, he himself sacrificing himself for man's sins. Okay. So those in a nutshell, those are all the false doctrines that IUIC teaches and the rest of these Hebrew Israelites. Be wary of false prophets. Okay, it's a lot of false doctrines out here that they teach. All right. Don't let your flesh write checks. Your soul can't cash in the afterlife. Thank you.